Tommy. Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respect and badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. I always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. What? Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Grace, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. trouble. Drive. How the hell they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try some. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. 
We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. The leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. He's getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired of the questions. Yeah. 
compensation for your services and any damage to your car. Miss makes us square. There's your morning to left. Look good. Now he wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, get me alone, some some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Oh, yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, I want to know poker. Scratches on your car. You swerved. Keep from hitting a little old lady. I got it? Of course. See you around, kid. When I open the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. It off. I can't hear myself think. That's much Slow down. You'll have us killed. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. the power. Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Without the radio. Better find a new fare.
Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day's gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Pull up in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for a cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <coughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Nearly there. Just up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Uh. Huh? Uh. Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help him sell Yari's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. I got deals. Who's gonna buy the 
How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou, you got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. Least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellis girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go so smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? One mind, mind, so Satan, with hope and you were sure I could have agreed that we were meant to be, but our love is where they talk about what they